This leads me to my final position. Presence at a distance, it takes two to tango, right? Conflict is natural in relationships, sometimes. The hard part is to tell if it's a real conflict in a dysfunctional relationship, or is it yet another game the wolf is playing, like what Satan was doing with Jesus in the wilderness? Femininity has the unique ability to be present and remote at the same time. This one needs to be practiced and developed. Well, as your heart increases with discretion and grace, presence at a distance is what emerges. We all understand that men see things in boxes and women live in a round room. Men experience one thing at a time in hyperfocus. They can move from box to box, but they can't be in two boxes at once. Women can. It's just that we don't call it that because our experience is the opposite to boxes. All of our being is present in one box. It just doesn't have any corners. Women experience everything all the time. Hyper-awareness. The best way I've ever heard it described is diffuse awareness. We absorb our environment. Presence means to be aware. Distance means emotionally unengaged from the situation. Because it takes two to tango, you remove yourself from the dance by emotionally distancing yourself in the present time while still in the dance. Your feelings from the past can surface because you've given them the space to do so. You can be in the present and the past at the same time. Let me try and explain the feeling of the experience to you. You know what a stereogram is. In order to see the hidden picture, you have to relax your eyes and unfocus. That's what diffuse awareness is like. You've got to be careful though. There's a temptation to do what, what I used to do. It was flatlining. The psychological term is called detaching. I didn't know it at the time. It was a coping mechanism to try and stay safe instead of being baited deeper and deeper into a fight with him. That's not what I mean when I say to be unengaged emotionally. I flatlined because I didn't understand my femininity and I had no boundaries. I didn't realize that flatlining is actually masculine. It's stoic and detached. I built a wall around me that kept everyone out, including my kids. Boundaries aren't walls. As a female, you can't be curious about a person if you've built a wall around yourself that keeps them out. That's what presence means. It means paying attention and being curious. Your focus is intentionally seeing and hearing. See, if you flatline, you're placing your trust in yourself because you've cut everything off, everyone and everything, including God. In Proverbs 3, 5, God says to trust in Him with all your heart and not rely on your own understanding. Presence is leaning into your emotions while trusting Him instead of yourself. That's what Peter means when he says to fearlessly do what is right.